Thank you. Thank you, Cole Brand. Am I Thank you, Cole Brand. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. This is uh, a talk called Stealing New Orleans Culture. <laughs> um, building community is something that uh, comes easiest when you fall in love with um, some great cultural artifact like the city of New Orleans. How many of you are in love with New Orleans like I am? If yes, yes. It's such a romantic city. And uh, here on the uh, edge of the Mississippi River, so much amazing history. And um, it is uh, a city that I, uh, where I attended college. Uh, I made this map myself. But anyway, um, that shows you how much I love the city of New Orleans. And um, so having to leave it, um, I decided to take it with me. And um, therefore, for I, uh, yes, we, uh, I imbued myself with the spirit of the great St. Charles builders. And uh, uh, how many of you have just found your delight on the St. Charles Avenue streetcar? Yes, yes. And that is, oh, yes. And so the mansions that line that street are so romantic. Uh, the Columns Hotel comes to mind. Uh, the great fried food of the city of New Orleans. Close your Close your eyes for just a moment, everyone, please. Think of your favorite food place in the city of New Orleans. Just for a moment. Think of a waiter wending his way toward your place with your favorite plate of food. And if, it's, if you're like me, it's... You may open your eyes. Uh, it's, if you're like me, it's a oyster po' boy, fried oysters with plenty of lemon and butter and that sort of thing. And so how to capture, how to bottle, how to take with me this city that, I, that means so much to me. Uh, I was a student of this city, seriously. I know I went to college there, but I really was majoring in New Orleans. So um, it's, um, it's a city of such marvelous funk everywhere I looked. First, I approached the city in a car. Uh, later, I was able to get a bicycle, a totally different city, unveil, unveiled itself before me. Later, I turned a foot, another city unveiled itself to me. Because with each layer, with each speed, I was able to enjoy a different level of detail of a city that has so much detail. It's just an incredible um, a monument to um, Creole culture. And so what do we do as we um, take a look at Carnival, the obvious thing? How do we take Carnival with us? Uh, do you remember the first time you went to Mardi Gras, the uh, parades and so forth? Uh, close your eyes just for a moment and imagine yourself in New Orleans or wherever it was, capturing a parade, the sound of the brass band music, and you're thinking, this is, um, the, um, this is what I want to live like as many days of my life as possible. And um, so I, open your eyes. Um, I, um, I was like you. I wanted to capture it, take it with me. And um, so it's not easy to do, but I have found a way to um, you know, gather people around me, like-minded folks, who are gonna um, say to themselves, yes, let's keep Creole heritage alive. North Louisiana is not Catholic, we know that. But that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy uh, borrowing a little bit, purloining a little bit of New Orleans culture. And so we um, gather together, uh, me and my buds, and we, um, we, we have a $1.98 crew, by the way, now, you can go to a Mardi Gras uh, crew, and you can get invited to become a member of a very fine social organization, and you can pay thousands of dollars thereupon, having been invited to join them on costumes and throws and the expenses of a fine crew, or you can do it the way some of us like to do it for $1.98, and we uh, take to the streets, spending as little money as possible, because we want to be what? The S word that is so much a buzzword of my life, sustainable. We want to be something that can last and something that does not create too much of a drain on people's lives. And so we are making things out of almost nothing. A rag bag is what we would like to use as we 
purloin New Orleans culture and make it our own here in the city of Shreveport. Now, if this looks a lot like a New Orleans scene, that's by design because we are in homage to this, the Crescent City. We are, and look at these guys in the red and black brass band. They're our buddies, they're from Grambling, Louisiana, but most of them pre-Grambling were from New Orleans. Katrina, in a way, did me a favor. It blew New Orleans musicians far and wide. And we were able to tap some of them and bring them over to Shreveport annually to be our partners in a parade that celebrates the Creole spirit of our state. And um, so we uh, have a little champagne. We uh, dress up in whatever we feel like it. We um, decorate umbrellas. In fact, we only have about three um, events in the course of a year. We have a lunch at Twelfth Night. What's the date of Twelfth Night? January 6th, that's right. And uh, then we have a costume workshop about one or two weeks prior to the Crew of Highland Parade. And um, we do as little as possible. You see that mask? That mask she made from a piece of paper. And you've got a piece of paper in your lap right now. And let's work it over right now. Would you take your piece of paper, fold it across, let's say, the top one third. Um, that is going to be your mark. Hold it up, please, to your face. Uh, use your fingers to mark the spot where your eyes are. Then take it down and take a look at that spot where your fingers are. Now, I want you to pinch out a half circle of paper so that you'll be able to see and not stumble against the curb as though you'd had too much to drink. Yes, indeed. And we are pinching out a semicircle of paper, although some of you are thinking, you know what, I might pinch out a square of paper, who knows, a rectangle of paper. I, um, after all, we're all in this on our own. Now, what have we got? Yes, 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 we've got eye holes. We may need to adjust them. Mine are, yes, mine a little too wide. I'm gonna pinch out a little bit more paper, yes. Now, one more time. You're thinking, where, Mr. Trudeau, does the nose go, sir? And so let's fold it down the center, everyone. Right down the vertical middle, please. Yes. And now let's pinch out an oval, a long oval that should make room for our proboscis. Yes. Our schnoz has got to be part of this, guys. And um, just stuff that paper in your pocket. We don't want to litter this beautiful spot. Aha, yes. Now, yes, indeed. Now, some of you are thinking people won't be able to hear me clearly unless there's an aperture for the mouth. In which case, we will fold the bottom one third. And we will... Thank you. We will um, make a marvelous opening for our vocal ministrations. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. But what about the rim, sir? Do I get to trim the rim in a way that suits my personality? Yes, you do. And therefore, I cannot wait to see what you do with these outside edges, if you choose to do anything at all, by the way. Uh, those of you who like the uh, rectangularity of it all, not a problem. But for those of you who want to trim up a shape, diabolical though it may be, I cannot stop you from trimming this paper into a perhaps very sweet and marvelous romantic shape Whatever it may be, I would like to see what shape you come out with as you. Now, to go along with the work that you're doing right now, I need to have an assistant. And I need one of the most basic things about the Crescent City. Along with fried food, I need a drum beat. Jesse, uh, Gabriel, would you give me a little snare uh, from the uh, 
beat of New Orleans from the marvelous um, second line. Yes, indeed. He's going to come up here and join me. This way, Jesse. Yo, beautiful. Everyone, please, on this side of the room, put your mask on, please, would you? Thank you. All right. Yes, yes. Everyone on this side of the room, please put your mask on. Thank you. Yes. Now, can you uh, snap your fingers? Every time, every time I find a good musician, I say, let's see if we can do second line, guys. And I found two more. Dirty Red and Trey, come on in with us. Would you everyone snap your finger like this, y'all? Yeah.